Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back after that little brief crash. So anyway, yeah, welcome back to my survival, solar survival world. I'm Lord Hercules, and we're going up for an experiment and some more builds. Like, we're going to be doing a little bit of railage. Uh, what else do I need to get? We've got the majority of my tools. I will be needing some of those, but I don't really need them. Oh, that's right, tripwire hooks. I can trade those. Yeah, I've... I only have 12 of them, but I could trade those. Uh, anything else I need to craft? Uh, don't really need you, but they're at the village anyway, so that's fine. And yeah, we are doing stuff over at the village. Uh, buttons we could make over there, because we're going to need buttons. I uh, don't really need tools at this point. Same with trapdoors. I think it's most of the stuff here that I need to take on over. Perhaps aside from a few extra things here. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I will, we'll grab these... Well, we'll grab half of these chests, because we're going to need some chests. Uh, anything else that's empty? Yeah. We'll grab some beets. We'll grab some carrots for the road. And yeah. It's going dark. And let me just restart my browser so I can monitor stream and chat. Alright, it looks like that's working. Alright, let's head over to the village. And I'm going to go back over our intent and plan for today. So, when I was watching Her Green's Hermitcraft episode, his uh, recent one, He claims to have found a, a new secret broken way to get a lot of emeralds. To get mega stonks. And if there's one thing I need right now, it's mega stonks of emeralds. Because we have a lot of enchanting to do, we have a lot of books to get, to get geared up. And it's going to cost a lot without doing villager curing, which I also am planning to do now as well. Like, I was going to set like a whole villager trading hall, but I I kind of like my free range villages. So I'm going to try impart an experiment to see if I can convert them safely with their trades and such remotely close to the village and um get them to keep their stuff but make them cheaper now before I do that there's a lot of setup that I need to do first of all I want my fisherman. Hello, sir. I have tripwire hooks for you. Wait, do you not want tripwire? It's not you, Fletcher? Remember, it's someone. Ah, oh, yes, it is you. An emerald? I'll do that. Alright, let's chuck into the chest. 
I'll bring up all of this iron. And wool. Alright. So, to further explain what I'm, what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, Piers. I'm just explaining a way to get mega stonks in Minecraft. So, Green has apparently found a way to do it. And it involves villages. Free villages. So, the first villager type can be basically anyone that c gives you emeralds. Farmers are, are a pretty good one to start with. Like, go so. Great carrots for emeralds. Now, it would probably be more recommended to do something like uh, pumpkins or melons. Something that has a low cost. What you then want to do is come over to a librarian that has the glass trade and do that. One emerald for four glass. Then you come over to the crafting bench, make glass panes, and you come over to... I see we'll find one of them eat more easily over this way. Your cartographer. And he does a glass pane trade for 11 of those for one emerald. And you get a lot of pains when you're crafting those glass. So that's what I want to do. I want to run an experiment to see how much stonkage we can get out. So first of all, let me just kind of empty up these trades from my inventory. Yeah, that'll be all my trades. Now, we're going to run this experiment with a full stack of emeralds. We're going to turn that into nothing but glass blocks, glass panes, and emeralds. Which is essentially would lead to a never-ending cycle of emeralds. But we're going to run it once to see how much profit we actually get. Now, we do out our inventory a little bit here. So let's see. Carrots. Now I also have got a few builds planned as well here. Uh, this is probably a good place for a temporary chest. I'm not going to need that, this, or that. Put those in there. And I don't think I'm going to need that many of my rails. And we'll put that away as well. Alright, that empty our, our inventory pretty nicely. So we're now going to go do some villager trading. And get all the glass that we can from our librarians. Alright, let's start with you, sir. Do you have glass? Yes, you do. I will take all of your glass, good sir. We're down to 50. Sir, do you have glass? Yes, you do. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's our second villager, and we're already at a stack and a half. Alright. No glass. Just double check him. Glass. Okay, it's conversing time, so we need to invade our librarian's presence. Alright, sir, do you have glass? Yes, you do. I'll take your entire stock. Alright, that's three and it stacks. No. No. But you. No. 
All right, let's go over to the other batch of villagers and see if... Oh, you, sir. Glass? Eight of you. Sir? Glass? No. You, sir, have glass? We've traded with you. You, sir? Yes. I'll take your entire stock. Uh, I should have this out. Mending our gear. Ah. I'll take your entire stock. Oh, we got four emeralds left for our experiment. And there we go. We turned an entire stack of emeralds into four stacks of Uh, let's uh, resort this a bit. Alright, let's fill up our inventory like so. Alright, so how many panes do we get out of this? And I should also... Yeah, we do have some glass and panes over from earlier trading. So now we're gonna max out these panes. Okay. We don't have enough to make a full set of panes. But still that's not too bad. That's nine Ten and a half stacks. Alright, so let's meet with our cartographer trading to see how much emeralds we can get out of this. And, sir, sir, I need to trade a few. Alright, 16 emeralds. Next villager. and that's half a stack. We're going to need to retreat for now. But this is looking like it's going to work really well. Oh! You're my cartographer. Okay, real quick. Trade with me. Alright. That's three runs of trades. And we basically nearly have a stack of emeralds. Alright, let's quickly go to sleep. Real quick. Because we don't want our villagers to get their faces eaten. Alright, so we're at 48 emeralds and we still have quite a few panes left to go. Two stacks and a bit. Now very likely our prices are going to be pretty high. Yeah, yeah is over it is at 19 so I need to give my clerics a chance to uh, chill out for a bit yeah even if we come to these guys yeah they're gonna be pretty pricey so let's move on to a side project while we wait for them to kill their prices and that's going to be this this is a nice little natural cave that I've expanded slightly and I'm and I want to put a zombie in here so I can convert vill these villages, at least the villages in this half of the village, into zombirts, and then cure them. Can I? Yes, we can. Now, I need to make sure that the golems can't get in here they can't hurt the zombified villages and such.
So we do need to make this in here a bit bigger as well. Now, I also have seen a uh, Zuma Void working with villages and curing villages in such a way. So I might use his uh, design, the design he was using for what I plan to do. So far, I think this is a large enough room. I think to probably encourage the spawn of a zombie. We're going to do something along this line. I'm going to have a track there. And let's go make ourselves up some minecarts. And as we go along, we'll check to see... Okay, your prices are still way too high. Okay, we need some of our... Men. And some minecarts. We'll start with two. So at the moment our plan is to catch a zombie that we're going to attempt to spawn in. So any zombie that spawns over here is essentially going to, uh, well, The only place it can really go is down the corridor. Right. And that should overall be what we need. Just to make sure that it can't go anywhere, we're going to block this off so that the zombie basically can't really go anywhere, and we'll do that to make extra sure. And we'll do that just to make the area a little bit darker there. But so we'll add torch there, torch there, take this torch out, which hopefully should encourage that to spawn some mobs. Alright, now we do need to also find a place for our other one as well. This is a still too high. So yeah. Basically I plan on building it on the inside of the mountain. I think around here would probably be a good place. Yeah, I think around here should be good. Make sure that this place is lit up because we don't want mobs spawning out of this. And we're going to detour this way into the hillside.
make this corner nice and big. Add a torch. And this should be suitable for our needs. So let's mine this out a bit. Make ourselves a nice little room in here. As I was saying, this is important to keep them safe from the golems that would want to destroy the um the zombies. Alright, that should be big enough. And we're gonna make ourselves another mob spawning tunnel as well. Let's make this bit deep. Okay, that should work nicely. Put down the minecart block. Oh no. Cart, block. Alright, that should work nicely. And this room should be decently lit up as well. Alright, we will put a contingency block in just to keep any potential mobs from coming out. And it is going night time as well. We've got nothing spawning here as of yet. But we'll do another contingency block. And we're gonna quickly steal a bed. <laughs> the way how they all get up. <laughs> Alright, and we should be able to talk to our cartographers and get, yes, some more cheap trades. Ooh, okay. So that's interesting. We almost made back our emeralds. We got the 61, but we don't have like a full set. Alright, let's make a few more. Let's make another batch. So that gives us another 16. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. So, overall it almost is a par system, this. Going for emeralds, into glass, into glass panes, into emeralds. I almost broke even, with a slight bit of loss. But that's without any villager curing. If I was to cure my cleric, I, I mean, my cartographers, I would surely be able to make a lot of profit. So this was an interesting experiment. I didn't expect it to go so well. And this is definitely something that we are going to look into doing. Hmm. Yeah, we might need to go in here. And make this bigger. Like, let's give him a nice sizable space to spawn. Make this a little bit bigger. I do apologize if you can't see what I'm doing. Ah, we now have a much larger room. Right, I'm going to leave that there like so as a way to get access. Now, I will admit, this is probably a lot harder for me to accomplish than simply going out and finding a zombie at night. Ooh, that's one thing that we didn't get. Our name tags. Alright, well, anyway. Let's head into this one. And see if we've had a hit. Probably not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. And we'll make a similar little entrance bit here. And make this a bit bigger. We're hitting skeletons. We don't want skeletons. But it is something that we could potentially get. Alright, it gives us a nice spawn room there. Seal that up. And then we just have to wait. Now I do need to do stuff in there as well. So that'll be something that we'll get to at a later time. 
Ah, looks like some of the trees I planted early have also started to grow. Yes. Three trees have grown in these clumps of four. Actually, I'm going to come up to my little tree chest here and deposit much of this mined gear. Particularly this cobblestone and this coal. Now, I think I'm going to run back to the base to grab those name tags because if we do get a zombie, we're going to want to name him. And I would be content on naming them na name tag. Alright, let's hurry back to the base and grab those name tags. Mm. So yeah, also we want to build ourselves a nice little base house near the village as well. Something bigger than our little farm hut. <laughs> no spider. Oh, I'll take your string. Thank you very much. Is that four? That's four. Four string. Very nice. Ah, I seem to have been interrupted by a slight distraction. Anyway, moving on. Roma's back at base. Now, shoe fishing, I should have got myself quite a fair few name tags. Plus, I would also like to go around and naming my villages as well. Also, to help to identify what villages are who, especially when it comes to my librarians. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's see, it'll be in here. Okay, we have 42 name tags. Mm -hmm. One other thing that I didn't exactly show you guys is that uh, one of my uh, new um, cartographers was, a, was willing to give me a Woodland ma Mansion map. So I could now find a Illager Mansion now. And it is somewhere in that general direction. Where exactly it is, and whether or not I've been there or not, whether I've been close or far from it, I could not say. It could be thousands of thousands of blocks away from me. And for, for a moment I thought I was a panda, and I was thinking, a panda out here? Nani? Yeah, it's a white and a black sheep. Why in Minecraft did I think that was going to be a panda without bamboo? Now I might have to actually import a zombie from somewhere else. If I had a zombie spawn I could use that to get myself a pair of zombies.
Alright, that's a skeleton. I think that was a spider. Yeah, that's what I mean. The golems, they keep the village safe. For the most part. Oh! No! 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 Oh! Hello, sir. Come in, chase me. Yes. Yes. No! The golem stole my zombie. Yeah, I'm. I, I will definitely have more success getting zombies out here like this. But I heard a hissing sound. Ooh, there's a zombie. And could I get him in a minecart? I could. Oh. There's more zombies. Okay, I need to make some minecarts real quick. Zombie? Okay, we got one zombie. And we got a zombie villager as well. Can we get you? Yes, we can get you. Okay, we don't want you, Mr. Spider. Die. I will gladly take your things. Ooh. I might actually keep the zombie villager and cure him. Perhaps to make like an iron farm or something. Uh, so let's make ourselves another. And we can nab this other zombie. Oh, I thought there was a creeper there for a moment. Okay, uh, where did your friend go? Oh, there he is. Come on. Get in the cart. There you go. Alright, now we need to get these guys. Safe. Alright. So. We're, we're going to give them a bit of a cobble roof. No, zombie. I'm trying to safeguard your friend. Okay, I think that should do. So long as they remain underneath these blocks, they should be good. Alright. Let's get this. Let's get this. So I'm going to put that down. Uh, let's put you over here.
Alright, let's do this real quick. We'll go with Zombie. Alright, we got you named. Ow. And there we go. Two zombies. Alright. We're gonna sleep real quick. And they are doing okay. Uh, let's make sure that this villager doesn't despawn as well. So, one name tag. Uh. We'll call him Steve for now. Alright, so they're not they should not despawn now when we leave these chunks. Because we've named them. Let's come in. Oh, this has actually kind of worked. Not the mob I was looking for. But kind of works all the same. Okay, we're now going to mine up. Okay, there's daylight. Alright, our zombies aren't too far away from here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to actually create a bit of a covering track. Let's knock out some of these. Excellent. And we should also be able to grab you as well. All right, and we'll need to go get more of our rails as well. Now I'm going to go grab a bunch of dirt and we're going to make a dirt ceiling to get the villa, the zombie over there. Something that we have plenty of. And I 
that actually is very much leveled with that as well. We're going to go for free by free. Okay. And we're going to try and be as linear as possible with this as well. Now this might be going overdoing it, but I'm okay with that. And we got our zombies just over here. Alright, we might make this a turning point. I'm coming, zombies. Uh, and I'm going to have to harvest that tree too. I'm going to go with this guy first. I'm going to punch this block out for now. A temporary measure. And we should be able to use this as well. Uh -huh. ah. As I was saying before I got distracted by the trader, 
We should be able to use this for both of our zombies. Alright, so now we need some rails. Uh, I should have some rails here. Yes. Alright. Alright, that gets us down here very nicely. Alright, give him a push. And off he goes. We'll quickly sleep the night away. And he should hopefully get to where he needs to go. Unless the golems get to him. Okay, he's still chugging along. That's it. A little bit further. A little bit further, my undead friend. Into your new forever home. Excellent. And now you're in your new forever home. So now we can tidy up after ourselves in here. And also seal this off. Oh, that is zombie flesh. We'll take that. We can use that for trades. Alright. Now we can also tidy up after ourselves here as well. Ow. Now we also don't need this room anymore but I think for the sake of things I'm gonna go ahead and light it up but essentially we can hide him for now and he'll come into his role soon enough And I might even make this like a little nice entrance. That looks nice. Alright, so I'm now going to want to bring the, the zombies over this way. Or rather, the zombie. And I've stumbled across a cave. Uh, is there a safe way down? Probably not. <laughs> okay, we have been in here before. Okay, this comes through this chasm. Okay. We could use this. We could use this to our advantage. All 
Alright, let's pop back up. Since we now know where this hole is. Yeah, I'm going to try and bring the zombie around the village. So I'm pro probably going to see what I can do with the amount of rails I have. Oh, hello there, Mr. Zombie. You're not the zombie I'm after. Goodbye. Ah, we got a free hat. Free hat. Got more zombie moons down there. Anyway, let's build ourselves a bit of a dirt bridge here. Huh. Another idiot to kill. Die. Die. And we basically get to that point. Uh, okay, you're bringing me a spoon. Thank you, good sir. Die. Ooh, free spoon. I was kind of hopeful that there might be a spawner, but I don't see a spawner. I don't see a dungeon at all. I am still sad. Where's my dungeon? I need my XP farm. Anyway. Ooh, and that's going to actually break through. Here. Okay. Oh, apparently I'm uh, full on things. Uh, let's do that. Let's put down some rail. And a bit of a dirt ceiling there. Just so our zombie feels at home, undercover. Are you the same trader from, from earlier? I would say yes. Alright, don't trample my crops. Alright, we need to deposit a little bit of this resource. A few of our extra things. Hmm, and apparently we saw a zombie running around. Oh, you're holding a lead. How nice. Good for you, zombie. Good for you. Alright. So, we do want to transport him next, but we're not done with our little zombie tunnel 
Uh, let's drop this lead into a chest so we can roughly figure out where we want it to come from. Maybe even work from where we want it to come from. I will admit this is going a bit overcomplicated for what I intend, but most other people probably go through this kind of pain anyways. Ah, right, well let's see if we've had anything in here. Doesn't look like it. And we'll lay down some track here. Which will go up here. Alright, so we do have a bit of a breach here. Which we're going to kind of cover that up a bit. Well, we'll leave a hole open. Now, we should actually seal that up. Alright, it's night time. Let's grab some quick sleep. Alright. Let's first of all figure out what level we have our track on. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh. Okay, we are on 72. That's the level we need to dig up to. Oh, that's a witch. Why is there a witch here? Right, we got the witch. Yeah, we can hear our zombie candidate down there. See, so yeah, I'm pretty sure we said 72. No! That creeper came out of nowhere. What are you doing, cats? Alright, reinforce that a little bit. Yeah, 72. Okay, so now we hurry over. Now that we're no longer distracted. We'll now head to level 72.
Okay, we're not quite there. Seventy-two. So make sure that our zombie has plenty of room for the turn. Change this up a little bit. We've broken through the daylight. Yeah, this goes right around the edge of the village. You hear a lot of uh, walking noises around here. There's berries have been popped off. That means a fox was here. Alright. Okay, another breakthrough. We now need to go back around, but I'm pretty sure we're not even close to where we need to be. As here, let's double check our coordinates. Okay, the line we're running down, that is 79. Yes, 79 is the point we want. 79. We shouldn't be too far off being able to start doing this. Yeah, we're actually not too far off. This is 79. Alright, make sure our corner is nice and sizable because we don't want our zombie taking damage coming out. And we're shrew. Alright, and I think for the most part... We can use most of these... go as far as we can. Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm actually going to pause the zombie right here. See, let's go a little bit further. Yeah. That way we can recycle our track as well. We should be looking pretty good right now. Alright, and... Okay, we give him a little push, and he's off. Alright, we'll be back for you. We need to watch our zombie guy. Alright, so far so good. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do with the uh, zombie villager at the moment. Okay, you have stopped here. Oh no, you're still going. And I would like my rail, thank you. I don't have any more minecart on me, okay. Oh, you are actually still moving. But it's just very slow. Okay, you stopped. Yeah. Come on. Get in there. Alright. That was worth the pain. Alright. That gets you there. The heck was that noise? getting dark we should go sleep real quick so that we can continue harvesting our rails oh those are skeletons no Okay, not how I wanted to reach my bed. Alright, well, Skelly Bob here is dead. Uh, let's offload a little bit of loot. There's a creep in my farm.
Our zombie should be pretty safe inside of the um the cave. Alright. Let's come around to the other end and lay down the track. There's our zombie. I'm going to need to go back for more of those rails. So let's grab all of these that we can. We'll leave our Zombit Villager here. And we should also have a spare minecart if I'm not mistaken. Yes. That then we are going to use. We're going to use it to help push our Zombit Villager. Oh, I didn't notice that that tree got a little bit butchered. As we'll, we'll fix that later. Either by chopping it down or other measures. Alright. Okay, that should be sufficient. And we do still have some pretty nice light coming through as well. Alright, and that should connect up. Alright, the only thing left to do is... Open up the path and send in the zombie. And hope that the golems don't take notice. Alright. So. We break you. We place the rail down. Ow. Now we come around. And we actually have a few spare rails to do this as well. Oh, we also had this segment here as well. 
All right. We actually can probably do it like this as well. All right. So I'm going to give this minecart a nudge. That's going to nudge him. And we're just going to keep nudging. Oh no. No, don't die on me. And he's in. gonna block you in like a so and we'll hide you for now now we can collect up all of our rails all right so we've gotten our zombie into position Alright, this is going well so far. Alright, I'm glad that went pretty well. Although I wasn't expecting it to be a portion that I missed to cover. But like they say, all works out in the end. Yeah, spiders again coming from that cave. We can have a bit of a peek. Oh, that is a drop right there. That is a ledge. Okay. So the next thing I do need to do with my little zombie converter thing, or should I say villager converter, is I need to get a villager down there and zombify him. Uh, and yes, I have temporarily filled that with a dirt block. I've done it for reasons. It's just a quick fix. Nothing more, nothing less. And sleep. Alright, where we're sleeping, let's get my thing back up. Beside me. Alright. Hello, Son Goku. <laughs> I 
Alright. Uh, villager conversion setup is something I'm definitely gonna work on finishing off camera. Oh no! 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 I was killed by the golem as collateral. I've, I may have also accidentally have hit him. Okay. Alright, that was a lot of levels too. And on stream too. We did have a few things break on us. Uh, we've got our bow, we've got our picks, we've got our spoon, we've got our sword. Doing a bit of minecarts. I think for the moment we've got everything. There's, for the most part, just some aggro, the uh, golem. We just were collateral. Just you know that we. They're not angry at me. That was kind of... Yeah. Rip. Oh. Alright, looks like we lost most of our clothes out of that too. Oh well. They were on... Alright. On the... Aside from all the levels that we just lost. We can easily get back, thanks to our villagers. And other methods. We didn't really lose anything of value. We, we've we got all our... Yeah. That should be everything that we had. Yeah. So, unfortunate it happened, but all good. Like, so far it's been very successful. We've gotten ourselves... Two zombies in our little conversion caves. Yeah, he's in there. You can see his foot kind of sticking through the corner of the block there. And they're both safe. From our golems. So we can, at our leisure, send in villages to be converted and unconverted. Oh dear, there's a door missing. Oh no. I feel I missed that door. If from memory, we do have a spare door. Yes, we do have some spare doors. And we might use the same technique we've been using for newer building. I hear it tricks the zombie into thinking the door is already open. They don't bother. Okay, uh... No, no, not like that. Yeah, that's right, we do it from in here. Yes! There we go. While we're at it, are there any other doors that would need replacing? I don't think the zombies can really pathfind up there. But we could be mistaken. I think for the most part, the rest of the uh, houses are good. Yeah, it looks like the rest of the houses are good. I don't think we'll be seeing any more zombies pop up. But that was a surprise. We had like three come up from the bottom there. I was not expecting that. I haven't even gotten to start work on where I want to build my little house. 
which I kind of want it to be kind of in this area. Like right next to the farm so we can encourage crop growth, but also close to the village, but not too close. And actually, I think, yeah, I want to build it on this rough patch of land here. Where the grass fields meet taiga. Yeah. So I think I'm going to start working away at the landscape here. So we're going to eat up a lot of these grass blocks with our silk touch. Alright, how much room do we have? We still got plenty of room. Yeah, we are leaving it a little bit messy, but it's fine. Now, at the moment, we we I just have a uh, a general idea of how big I want this to be, but obviously it will be subject to change. But I wanted it to be like a nice sizable house too. So this could be roughly the size I uh, need. And nearby we got a zombie villager that we're going to try and convert right here. Like, here would be an interesting experiment to see if I cure a villager that's unemployed or may not have had a job to begin with, a wild one, can you get good trades out of him at good prices? Now, there are some things that we do need to do before we do start with our villager zombifications. And that is to prepare all the things that we need. We need golden apples and we need splash potion of weakness. So we need to do some brewing, potion brewing. I think for now we might fill in this landscape. Just because of the principle. Yeah, this is where we're going to have our little house. And uh, there was one other project I wanted to do. Uh, we've worked on the zombie villages. We've cleared away some space for our house. And uh, there was one other thing. Oh, uh, what was it? Or at least our crop fields are looking wonderful. And this villager is still... Uh -huh. And yeah, the same one that we saw earlier. I don't need you, you can just... Dispo... Oh, what was that other project I wanted to work on? Ooh. 
Now I can't honestly remember what else it was I was going to do. What do you reckon, Steve? What was I going to do? Oh, I... I see, it might have been that. Our villages. Yeah. So, let's actually... get some of that going. Alright, fix up our inventory just a little bit. Alright. Excuse me just a moment, chat. Somebody's come up. I do apologize, I had a sudden call. Anyway, where were we? Ah, yes. Naming villages. Now this one, this will be our test name. should we go with? I know. Now let's go find a carrot villager. It will be my test subject. Ooh, I bet these golems would love to kill that zombie. No! Bad zombie. I might need to seal this up. In fact, I might seal up all of these entrances as a precaution. Oh, that's right. We are looking for a carrot farmer. Which we should have one here. Yes, you're my original carrot boy. And now, I dub the Kakarot. And he's the first one I'm going to feed to my Zombert. And we can get him easily because... He's tied to his workstation. He's attracted to it. He can't resist it. Hmm. 
Now I could go on and uh, name more of our villagers. But I might take some uh, name suggestions for some of them. In the uh, YouTube comments section when this goes live on YouTube. Like, it would be nice to name all of them. And they should be like, um, ironic funny names. Like maybe something fishy for our fishermen. Something rocky for our masons. And so on. Alright, I think for the most part we have secured the village. Aside from the gaping chasm. But then, the zombies will never make it out of there. Alright. Now I'm hoping that everyone's made it out through this whole zombie fi fiasco. Well, for my early stages of checking, it looks like everyone did make it. But we won't know for certain until we start getting into it. Alright. Now, we should also, while we're at it seal up this entrance temporarily as a added precaution. Actually, where's my food? I'm actually not sure, but I think my food is gone. The villagers have either picked it up, or it's been away from me for so long that it's despawned. Yeah, I actually didn't notice until now. Huh. Unless it's over here at the chest. Are you still here, villager? No, there's no food in there. Or we'll at least grab that extra hat. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna put these back in here for now. Uh, I think we're going to take an emergency measure here. Uh, do we have... Yes, we do. Now, we're not going to eat this raw. No, 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 no. We're going to cook this up. Fortunately, we have a furnace nearby with some fuel in it. So we can get some lovely cooked steak. Nom 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 nom. Alright, and I think I might call that a stream. We've actually got some stuff progressed on. And it's going to get dark. Oh, a bed we can steal for a bit of for a few Z's. 
Onward, my villagers, onward. Ah, uh, we'll have a little run around the village. See if everyone's here. Yep, everyone over here is present and accounted for. Maybe. Are you my weak guy? Yes, you're my weak guy. Oh, thank goodness. Hmm, where's that far? Oh, this could be him. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Alright, looks like for the most part that is everyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have everyone. Everyone survived! Hooray! And on that thrilling note, that's today, chat and dear viewers. So yeah, the usual should hit the follow button here on Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube for more content in general. <laughs> and yeah, I'm 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 really gonna try get some of this bent that I've got uploaded and made and so on. Uh, it's just been... I just gotta find the right window. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope that you enjoyed watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>